Hello, this is John Raspierski with Edwin Anthony Homes. I'm out here today at 817 Stanley Court in Royal Oak, Michigan, and I want to talk to you uh, about pouring concrete in the wintertime. And as you notice, I'm talking to you in my vehicle. And the reason being is it is so windy on the outside and loud that inside the house with, with heaters going and fans and the wind whipping on the outside against tarps, it's really hard to hear me. So I'm going to try to explain this the best I can and then take you out to visually show you. Um, it concrete in the wintertime uh, it is done a little differently than when you would pour in the, in the summer. And you can pour in the wintertime, but you have to take great care of the concrete. And we started off by taking great care at the plants. And at the plants, when we mix the concrete, we actually use a thicker bag mix. So we use about a seven bag mix. And we heat the aggregate and the water that we mix it with. So the stones and sand that create the concrete mix, we actually heat. And we, we keep them heated um, actually from the plant coming out to the job site by actually heaters on the, the concrete truck also. And uh, we get it out here and they, they, we have them mix a 1% calcium chloride into the mix. And what the calcium chloride does, the, the additive, is it helps the concrete cure faster in this cold weather. And again, we use a 1% mix on a, on a seven big um, concrete mix. So uh, in the winter time, it's very important after you pour um, to make sure that the concrete is in a conditioned space. And it can be conditioned by a couple different ways. We can uh, straw it and cover it with visqueen, or we can tarp off the area and heat it. And we chose um, to pour our front porch and walk and tarp off the area since we already had uh, the roof of the porch in. So we basically, we took a large tarp that was about 30 feet by 20 feet and uh, fastened it to the porch and put a large kerosene heater in and it's 12, 12 degrees outside and the wind's whipping and inside that conditioned area we're about 65 to 70 degrees. So we're going to keep this heated and opened for the next probably about 36 to 48 hours to make sure that we get some proper cure time um, in the, initial, the first initial days of uh, the concrete. After we're done with that point we're going to straw over the concrete. We're going to cover it with Visqueen. And this is going to keep it, um, the frost off of it, so it can pure, cure properly over the next 25 to 30 days. Normally concrete cures in 20 days, but in the winter time, it's about five to 10 days longer for the full curing process to happen because of the temperatures outside. So I'm going to go inside and I'm going to show you the porch and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll show you what we're doing out here. So follow me. As you can see, it's very loud in here. And we, we have our uh, kerosene heater and our porch. Now this was poured yesterday and you can see the blue tarp here and uh, it's actually, you know, the wind will occasionally blow and, and it gets real loud in here. It's not too bad right now. but. In addition to the, the concrete mixtures, as I described before, we actually reinforce it with extra re-rod. So there's half inch re-rod, 16 inches on center, running from, from uh, front to back on the porch, across the porch. And then on the steps, we use 3 8 inch rebar, and we make a U-shaped and, and actually embed it in the concrete. It gives it a real good base. And you can see the wind whipping here. 
It's getting noisy. 12 degrees out there, 70 degrees in here. I'm actually getting out of here. Hope you guys have a great day.